Hi, I'm Ms. Kristen of the Ooster Hat Free Library. How do you feel when you're starting something new? Some of you may have already started a brand new school year. How does that make you feel? Were you a little bit nervous? Maybe a little bit excited? Or maybe a little bit of both? Now, think back to when you first started learning something new, like maybe when you were learning how to tie your shoe or how to write your name. It might have been a little bit difficult or tricky to do that when you first started learning. But the more you did it, the more you found out, the easier it was to do. You may have even discovered that you were pretty good at it too. Well, the story I have to share with you today is called The Dot. And it's a story about a girl who doesn't think that she's very good at drawing on her first day in art class. She has a very nice teacher who helps her to make a surprising discovery. I'll also show you some fun ways that you can make your own mark. So let's get started with a story called The Dot. The Dot, written and illustrated by Peter H. Reynolds and published by Candlewick Press. Our class was over but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in the snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed a marker and gave the paper a good, strong jab. There! Her teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper toward Vashti and quietly said, now, sign it. Vashti thought for a moment. Well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. The next week, when Vashti walked into art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot she had drawn. Her dot! all framed in swirly gold. Hmm, I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never-before-used set of watercolors and set to work. Vashti painted and painted a red dot, a purple dot, a yellow dot, a blue dot. The blue mixed with the yellow, and she discovered that she could make a green dot. Vashti kept experimenting. Lots of little dots in many colors. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti splashed her colors with a bigger brush on bigger paper to make bigger dots. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. At the school art show a few weeks later, Vashti's many dots made quite a splash. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're really a great artist! I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. Vashti stared at the boy's squiggle, and then she said, Please sign it. 
The end. That was such a nice story that they created a fun day called International Dot Day. And that's on September 15th. International Dot Day is to encourage creativity, exploration, and learning new things. You can join on, on the fun and make your own mark by creating your own dot picture. And as you saw in the story, there's not just one way to make your dot. But here's a few ideas to get you started. You can draw your own dot to dot picture and see what you can imagine. You could try out some color mixing. You can even make a cool coffee filter dot pattern, or you can make your dot come to life. Let's explore how you could do that. If you wanna make a dot to dot picture and use your imagination, this is kind of fun. All you need is a piece of paper and then just draw dots all over your paper, just randomly. And then look at it, use your imagination and draw some lines between the dots to create a picture, as you see that I've done right here. See what you might create. Now I imagine that I saw a house and a tree, and I made these dots into birds. But when you draw some dots on your paper, you might see something entirely different. Try it out and see what happens. You could try to make color mixing, just like Vashti did in the story. You can use paints, watercolors, or even markers and make a dot with one color and then add a different color on top of that color. What color did you create? Try different combinations and see what happens. You can make your own cool coffee filter dot patterns. I think they're pretty cool and it's very simple. You take a coffee filter that you might have in your kitchen and you're going to fold it in half. Now mine's already decorated. Um, so you fold it in half and then I fold it into three other parts like this. It doesn't matter, have to, doesn't have to be exact. I'm calling that a pizza bowl. And then you're going to lightly mist it with some water. And um, what this is going to do is you're going to use your markers, washable markers. And the water will allow the dots that you create on your coffee filter here to go through all the layers of the coffee filter. Now, if it doesn't quite go through as dark on the back side, you might want to take your marker and then just trace over the dots that you made on the front side. And that way it'll be the nice, the same color on all sides. When you're all done with your beautiful dots, you can open up the coffee filter let it dry and then you can move it to another piece of paper or maybe use it in another way. Uh, use your mind and be creative um, and be sure whatever work of art that you make to sign it at the bottom like I did here, just like Vashti uh, signed her works of art in the story. Make your dot come to life. Create your own dot using the free coloring sheet and app from Quiver Vision. Create your dot on this coloring sheet that I'll include in the description box below, and then using a phone or tablet, download the Quiver Vision app. You'll need an adult's help with that. Then scan the picture that you've created right here into the apps, and the app's augmented reality will make your dot appear right before your eyes. It's really cool. And the app will even turn your dot into a game and a maze. I'll include the links in the description box below. Well, whatever mark you make, please share it with us. Send a picture of your creation to childrens at loserlibraries.org. We'd love to see it. I hope you make your mark this year. I hope you had fun and we'll see you next time. Bye.